Good morning, ladies and disappointments. I don't actually mean that, I just wanted to say it. I've heard people say it and I always think that's funny, but I don't mean it, of course I don't. So, show vlog today, Mr Jones is going to Southview, they've got a BS show on, he's in the 85 amateur and then the 90 or the British novice, straight after. It's two minutes past six, let's go. Good morning. So it's ten to seven. Ew. I finished mucking out. Good enough. And now I'm just going to get my little my little steed ready to go show jumping. Um, on account of the fact that we had a storm yesterday, and I was busy repairing lots of different things around the place. Um, my preparation didn't really exist yesterday. I cleaned my tack last night, but he's not. Basically, I'm just telling you why, once again, I'm not going to be turning my horse out well to go show jumping. Because I know everyone there. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard in the winter. Like, he probably needs another clip. He was done two, three weeks ago and it's just looking a little bit not as clean as I would like. You know, you've got to work with what you've got. Billy's going through a bit of a phase at the moment. He's sort of, he's hit that 14, nearly 15 mark. And he's just wanting the world to know that he's not a little boy anymore. He is growing up. So, what has he done? He's done what we all do when we're teenagers. Redecorated his bedroom. I didn't authorize it, he just did it. Let me show you. Look, he's given himself skylights. And we've had to move his bed over there to accommodate that the rain might just come in through. You didn't think that one through, did you, boy? Not really. Just in case my sarcasm wasn't that strong then, he obviously did not do that. That was the storm that we had a couple of nights ago. So we're waiting for it to be repaired, but yesterday was just impossible because the wind was so bad. Um, we patched a little bit of it together, but you need a new roof, don't you, my boy? Should put you in the field. Should we put, <laughs> put you in the field? Let's get McAllister in the field as well. So, a little show jumping outfit check. I've got my ski socks, I've got my breeches. Underneath my breeches, I've got some thermal tights, which I can't show you because I've also got my thermal top on, which is tucked in. It's a very attractive situation. We're not going to be cold today. We're going to Nelly Potato do it right. Okay, stop faffing. Go and tack up Mr. Jones, load him onto the lorry. Presto, let's go. Come on. We're here. Well, oh my goodness. I said I didn't want to be cold. Baltic. It's Baltic. And I've not got an awful lot of time because I drove so slowly to get here. Luckily, my boots are in the horse box. That's like it, they're not clean, but it's minus a million, so who cares? <sighs> I'm gonna try and get away with jumping in my fleece, because it's so cold. It's child cruelty if I have to jump with that one. Oh, it's so cold. That's probably really boring to hear me say, but it really is. No. Hi, babies. Come on, let's go. You see that? That's ice. Baltic. Jones off he's been in and jumped a lovely double clear but you might see I'm crying a little bit it was quite tight in there and he was going quite quick and I was just like keeping coming keeping coming because he prefers to jump from a fast canter and 
oh my god there was a turn off the corner and there was a wing right next to it and i smashed my knee into the wing at about fence i think it's like fence seven and i knew it hurt at the time but i carried on like adrenaline carried on and now i've stopped i'm in so much pain like it really hurts um oh i mean i i would show you my knee but i'm sure there's nothing to see but i think it'll be fat later on it hurts so much oh i thought i was going to take the jump down but they're quite solid jumps which means that i didn't get faults because i was like oh there's my double clear down the drain i've got four faults from my knee but um no the jump stayed in put the jump stayed intact i'm just so sore like i don't know if i'll be able to jump the next class because he's in the 90 straight after this one i'm just gonna walk him around put his rug on put him back on the lorry and i'm gonna walk for like 10 minutes and just try and get the pain to come down i'm gonna go and see the first aiders and just try and get some pain drugs off them drugs <laughs> Oh, pop it. Got one more class to do, okay? That was my head banging on the side of the horse box in case anyone cared. Where's my coffee? I need to go and get some ibuprofen, it's so sore. Does it look fat? You can sort of see paint. I just, oof, oof, pain, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. That's gonna hurt. Just keep walking. Paracetamol has been taken. I feel I feel great. Good to go again. Can't wait. Help me. I bought the course for the next class and I got abused. The pole guys, which are also the medics, they were like, don't wreck anything else. Don't be breaking all the jumps. And then the judge came up to me. And boys shush the judge came up to me and said you would have won that if you were registered so we technically won it so it was worth the line that i took which was so tight i nearly ripped my leg off always worth it in the end but we're not registered and he said why aren't you registered yet and i said well i can't think of a good enough name for him mr jones just isn't going to cut the cake is it so we need to think of a good name and we need to get registered and i need to not decapitate my leg decapitate my leg are you okay my little baby so should we get you all tucked in nicely <laughs> oh babies right i'm gonna go get on because i've only got five to go until me wish us luck well that round was slight slightly less successful we had i think the first we cleared the first fence and then two three and four <laughs> we had down so finished on i think 12 volts but he jumped the second part lovely. I think either, I, I don't know. He's not that fit. Um, so maybe it was a fitness thing and maybe he was a bit tired from being in there already and jumping so well. So who knows, but it was still a good round, just not as good as the first. Just having a nice walk off in the big outdoor. Should do some pole work. Go on in, go on in. Woo! Champion. Champion! Right, let's get going home. Dominated Southview. Guys, we're winners. We are winners. I mean, technically we're not because we're not registered and we didn't get a rosette. Someone else got the first place rosette. But had we have been registered, they shouldn't have even bothered turning up, you know? Well, that's that. It's five past 11 and we're done. Done and dusted for the day. I'm gonna go home. I need to get some fuel on the way. I'm gonna go home and then try and get Billy's stable roof fixed because it's gonna rain later. And I don't think he wants a water feature. Maybe he does. He's going, you know, he's going through a phase, as I said. Um, my knee, my knee is still sore. I've either, I've decided, I've diagnosed myself and it's either bruised the bone or I've dislocated my knee. It's one of the two. I don't know. Is that a bit better? Oh. <laughs> Are you toasty warm? Are you snuggledy buggledy in there? Are you snuggledy buggledy? 
Good boy. Right. Stop faffing. Let's go. They look like two happy boys to me. Is that better, puppies? Is that better? Hello. Welcome. So we're back in the house. And my poor knee, it really hurts. I don't know what I've done because I can bear weight on it absolutely fine. The only thing I can't do is bend my knee very well. Like it's not, it's not painless. So sitting down and then getting up again hurts quite a lot. Walking, I look like I've got a peg leg. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but a cup of tea, that sorts everything out, doesn't it? So obviously I had a win today. That's pretty good. Pretty good going. Second class, whatever, because I had a broken leg and he was tired and you know, He'd won the first class, so who cares? Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I don't know. No, yes, I do know. The bad news is, obviously I've got a broken leg and possibly something else is broken. I just feel like something really bad has happened to me. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, the TV's on in the background and Baby Dill saw a dog and he's trying to see it off. So obviously I've got a broken leg and hip and everything else or whatever. I should probably be going to A&E but I'm a brave soldier and I need to still fix Billy's stable roof because it has started snowing. So I'm just having a sit down and a cup of tea in front of the fire. I'm gonna get some Voltarol on my knee and then go and fix his Blooming stable roof. Why do they do it? Why, why do we do it more importantly? Not to be dramatic because I never would want to be dramatic because that's just not me. Um, I've had a pretty drama filled weekend. So, well, it's been a drama filled week really. Let me fill you in. This vlog was going to be like me going hunting yesterday on McAllister and then show jumping today on Mr. Jones. And Billy, I thought he'd probably have the winter off from now. I wasn't going to clip him again. But no, McAllister went lame on Monday. So I gave him a couple of days off and he was still lame. And I thought, he was getting better but then he'd suddenly pull out worse and whatever. So I got the vet out and she said he probably would be fine by Saturday. But to send her a video of him trotting on the morning. And I thought, well, you know, I don't want to have him, I don't want to take him just for the sake of taking him. I could just have a week where I don't go hunting. And then, I had the most inspired idea. Do you know who would be a machine out hunting? Billy, Billy the show jumper. I don't know, I've always said I'd never ever take him hunting because it would ruin him. And I was thinking about it and I was like, why, why will it ruin them? Because Billy isn't the most careful jumper in the world anyway. He does quite often have a careless fence and it's not because he smashes through it, he'll just drop a turn and I thought, for him to go and jump some solid fences might not be a bad thing. And he's 14, he's show jumped for years, it's not touch wood. I don't think that if he went hunting once, because I probably would only take him once, just to see what he was like, um, I don't think that would put his show jumping completely back to square one. And if it did, I'd just turn him away for the rest of the winter, which is what I was gonna do anyway. So I don't think I've got anything to lose, and obviously I'll look after him, I'll probably only go out for an hour because he's not that fit anyway and just see what he makes of it. I made that decision on Friday and I took him to my friend's house and took him over some like rustic fences because I've never even jumped a rustic fence on him. He's only ever seen show jumps, certainly with me and I've had him since he was <coughs> seven or eight and he's now 14. So yeah, I took him over some rustic fences. I did put a stronger bit in him and a curb chain. But then of course he's not clipped. He's not even shod, but then he's not been shod for years. So I clipped him Friday night. I was racing to get it all done. And I had to wash his back legs because they were covered in mud and poo and ugh. So I got all that done. And then Saturday morning, I wake up ready, ready to go. Like Billy is buzzing, I'm buzzing, looking forward to a good day out. And it was like six o'clock in the morning and the wind was horrific, horrifically bad. Like my stable roof had blown off. And I thought, it'll die, it'll ease off, I'll, I'm still going to go. I was determined to go hunting because I'd put so much effort into getting ready. And then it got to seven o'clock and I was like, hey, 
I'll go, but I might not go, but I'll go and I just won't plant. And like my turnout standards were getting lower and lower. I was like, I'm not gonna plant. I'm not gonna wash his legs again. We're just gonna turn up as we are because it was so windy and stormy anyway. And then it got to eight o'clock and I was like, I really need to make a decision. I need to leave for the next 20 minutes if I'm gonna go. And I was like, it's just not worth it. I, I think it would have been fine to go and ride, but I was worried about driving the horse box and loading and unloading by myself with the wind as strong as it was, it would have just been, yeah, it just seemed silly to go. And the advice was not to travel unless absolutely necessary. And it did feel necessary, but also, also you gotta be realistic sometimes. And you know, there'll be other chances to take him out hunting. So obviously I didn't go hunting. I've gone show jumping today and I've broken my leg and my spine and my neck. And my stable roof needs fixing. So it's not the, um, exciting activity filled weekend that I thought it was going to be but it's just full of lots of disasters <laughs> for want of a better word it has just been a bit of a flop but never mind I think what I'm gonna do is take Billy hunting either on Tuesday or next Saturday and then I'm gonna take McAllister hunting on like a very amateur hunt on the Sunday if he's up to it. I'm sure he will be like he's sound now I just haven't ridden him I was gonna ride him tonight well this afternoon but obviously my hips broken so I can't do that um, yeah that was a lot I've spoken a lot I think I need to wet my whistle oh and also last night I did something a little bit naughty last night for the first night I let Otis and Baby Dill sleep in my bed. And it was so nice because it was freezing last night. Normally my heating goes off at like 10 o'clock, but I had to come back down at 11 because I was so cold in bed, like I couldn't sleep, I was so cold. I thought, poor dogs, they can't be down here, they'll be cold as well. So I was like, go on boys, we'll all go up to bed. We all snuggled in and we slept. We took up not even a third of my bed, the three of us all just snuggled in together. That was lovely. I thoroughly enjoyed that experience. The difficulty now is when I don't want him to sleep in my bed, Baby Dill knows. Baby Dill knows that sometimes he comes up, sometimes he just doesn't, and that's fine. He's accepted it. I think Otis is going to be a little bit highly strung and he's going to be um, expecting that every night. So we'll see. We'll see. So I'm just making a coffee because now it's time. I've got to go and fix the roof. I'm not in the mood. I put Voltarol on my knee and it's tingling quite a lot. I'm gonna get all rugged up. And we're gonna go and do a job. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't wanna be a grown up when stuff like this happens. It drives me nuts. So just because the weather decided to throw a tantrum, I've now got to spend my Sunday afternoon fixing a roof. <sighs> Nightmare. Nightmare. I'm gonna put some chocolate milk in my coffee and just treat myself. Delicious. Delicious. I don't think the dogs are gonna to want to be anywhere near this. I think they're gonna to want to stay in by the fire. So, I might go and tuck them in. You're gonna be all toasty warm in here. <laughs> you stay there. Oh, good boys. Bye, babies. I'll be okay, don't worry about me.